Thank you, David, Ambassador Friedman. And thank you, Tammy. Sarah and I are delighted to be with you, with the members of Congress who are here, with the members of Knesset and ministers, with so many friends from so many years. It's a wonderful celebration of 4th of July anytime in Israel, but this year it's special. One year, President Trump moved the embassy after declaring Jerusalem Israel's capital. In the UN, a powerful defense of Israel, day in, day out. And you remember that Iran nuclear deal? Remember that? President Trump decided to leave this bad deal, and he did the greatest thing for the security of the world and for the security of Israel. Now, you should know that this is not yet universally accepted. And I can tell you that this week, there's going to be a meeting. And the meeting's going to be in Europe. Can you hear me? You've got to hear this. Listen to me carefully. There is a meeting this week by the P4 without the United States. They're going to discuss how to go around the decision that President Trump in the United States made to leave this bad deal which is funding Iran's terrorism and its aggression with billions of dollars. There is, in this same week, something extraordinary. The P4 invited Iran's president, Wuhani, to attend that meeting. But at the same time, in recent days, this same regime dispatched a terror cell to carry out a major terrorist action in France. The commander of this terror cell was an Iranian diplomat in Austria. Fortunately, the plot was exposed. The cell's Iranian members were arrested in France, Belgium, and Germany. France and Germany are part of the P4. At the time of their capture, the cell members had explosives, detonators, and more. European authorities are now completing their investigation and are expected to charge the Iranian agents and cell members behind the plot. This Iranian terror plot was planned in on the soil of Europe on the same week that the European leaders are supposed to meet the president of Iran about circumventing the sanctions on Iran. Here is my message to the European leaders. Stop funding the very regime that is sponsoring terrorism against you and against so many others. Stop appeasing Iran. This is what President Trump has said, but he's gone well beyond saying it. This is what he is doing, and we in Israel can appreciate this. We're grateful for America's independence. We're grateful for America's strength. We're grateful for America's alliance with Israel. Now, you know I'm both the Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister, so I can tell you, we have relations with 160 countries, and some of these are terrific friends. But there is no friendship like the friendship between Israel and the United States of America. America has no greater friend than Israel. Israel has no greater friend than America. What makes this alliance so, so powerful, so enduring? 
What makes it so? Well, one thing, common values. We have common values that are clear. It's freedom, liberty, democracy. These aren't hollow slogans. They're the bedrock of Western civilization. They're the secret of America's success and of Israel's success. They're the secret of our ingenuity, Israel's and America. The big leaders of technology in the world tell me, you know, there are only two places. Now, I'm a diplomat, so I have to be careful. There are only two places, they say, where everything is happening. The other one is America. No, that, that, I don't mean that. We have tremendous respect for American ingenuity, for American creativity, for American mobility, for American capacities in every field. And we have, we know where that comes from. It comes from a free society, from free discussion. We argue about everything. Believe me, I know. We have a free press. Believe me, I know. We have free speech. We have freedom of religion, freedom, liberty, democracy, real values. Here's what the Liberty Bell says, inscribed on it. Proclaim liberty throughout the land Proclaim liberty throughout the land unto all of its inhabitants. We know that phrase. It comes from the Bible. It comes from Vaikra, from Leviticus. Ukratem dror la'aretz. So much of America's heritage is rooted in the Hebrew Bible. And it is in the Bible that our prophets consoled us. They said the exiles would be gathered back to our ancient homeland. We will restore our national life here. We will restore our capital, Jerusalem. And seven years later, President Trump bought the embassy to Jerusalem. David, I have one message for you. I have one request. Next year in Jerusalem. This is a fine and beautiful hall, immaculately done. Next year in Jerusalem, right next to the American embassy, there can't be a more glorious gathering with greater friends. Thank you all. God bless America. God bless Israel. And God bless the alliance between America and the state of Israel. Thank you all. Thank you.